Hey guys, it's Laurel and Pierre with Blue Ox on the Run, and we are going to feature this Rockwood Ultralight. It is the 244 2BS, and we want to dedicate this little review today to Rick and Jane. We just met this amazing couple here in the dealership, and this unit is their unit, and they're about to go on a trip to Nova Scotia. All right, Rockwood RW Ultra Light. So it must be really light. I could probably haul that with my Jeep. Awning, full fledged from one end to the other. This is kind of cool. So at least the door is in the middle, so you're protected. Oh, this, this is, is nice. a great awning. Yep. So propane tank, I saw two of them. So two 30 pounders go out of the bay going from one side to the other nice oh, storage bay filter system integrated i see oh, that we'll see there. that on that the other cool. side so water heaters on this side um 4300 pound axle with aluminum wheel nice wheel set that's kind of cool furion setup for your cable outlets cable for an outside tv I guess so, yeah, if you want the cable for an outside TV. So your shower is here, actually, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, the electrical leveling system is one on each corner, and uh, it is powered from the outside. This is a nice feature on this unit. I was kind of happy to see this, but on top of having the receiver underneath to haul your boat or your, your, your motorcycle or whatever, you also have this loading deck platform that falls down that you can load up stuff on it. That is kind of cool and fixed ladder to go to the roof to go check everything that's going on on your roof as you know always issues or branches that can come up there so 50 amp unit big slide out frameless window which is kind of a nice feature that is kind of cool i like that those are beautiful windows I would have wished to have that this unit actually comes with slide up slide out toppers this is phenomenal what's so like important that. about those slide toppers well it avoids you from having to have crap going on to your slide out so when you want to bring your slide out in well at least stuff is not Everything's staying clean. on there so yeah i like that so water place where you actually put your water inside this is the heater and this is that bay and that wet bay that we have right here which see that's the hose that they all come up with and what's this over here so that's a uh, integrated filter sy system for the water so that is kind of cool too so yeah nice slide out nice tank right here um, the nice thing about this is that uh, it's already prepped solar solar on the go or solar on the side so you can actually plug in and put some solar panel outside so that's kind of cool and it also comes from what rick was telling me that it has a solar system hooked up so it gives you the ability of uh, having the nice feature of his inside refrigerator that is 12 volt and 120. So boondockers, you're welcome. Roll, you're on. If you're enjoying this video so far, we invite you to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified when our next video comes out. So come on in, let's go check out this kitchen. I love the light wood. There is so much storage in here. One of the great features is that you've got this sit up bar and that's what Jane was saying. She's like, we're looking forward to just having a nice little bar to sit up to, to eat dinner, to have coffee. Uh, they've got a three burner stove here. It's by Magic Chef and you have the oven. And here also you've got a beautiful microwave and which is also a magic chef but look at all the storage there's a ton of storage pull out um all the storage up here you've got your kitchen sink which is a large basin sink and pierre what were you saying about this magic chef refrigerator this refrigerator is actually solar powered by 12 volt if ever you have the availability of being on the road or being boondocking so you're off the grid you don't need uh, you got a your solar package and you've got your 120 and 12 volt refrigerator so you're independent that is cool and here you've got this docking station so you've got your electrical outlet and uh your usbs 
little place to put your coffee cup, reclining, love seat, and over here you've got a ton of storage also. Wow, this is actually a lot of storage. This is really nice for the size of this unit. The storage is phenomenal, I would say. And I love the light wood. Again, there's no rug. Everything is flush, flush floors. The slides are flush. Um, yeah, the TV. So see, isn't that nice? Yeah, it is. Flush. And nice then system. I'm going to Small. open up the bathroom door Compact. for you so you can go in and show them the shower so because it's actually a large shower. Your control board is right at the entrance. See, here's uh, the, the, the solar control device here. Yeah, nice shower. Nice compact. Good size. Bathroom. Yeah, the shower is actually big. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. Cabinets all over the place. No, that is, that is. I'm, wow, okay, I'm amazed. And then coming into the bedroom, they have the queen size bed, which again, the compartment underneath the bed, it's huge. So there's a lot of space under there. I don't need to lift it. Um, you've got your sliding glass doors. And in here is a cute little cupboard space that's integrated into the closet itself. And I'll slide over to the side here and show you the closet space here with the drawers below. Yeah. So there is a ton of space. It is available to have a TV. It doesn't come with a TV, but it certainly does uh, have the available space for the TV. So what are we doing now? So stick around because we're gonna share with you our favorite feature and our least favorite feature. So we'll be right back. All right, I'm trying to figure out our least favorite thing in this Laurel, hello well this is my least favorite this is a closet coming out of the bathroom you see oh, my yeah. heels hanging off the edge it's Whoa. kind of a tight corner to come out yep. so that's my least favorite it's just trying to get out of the bathroom yeah no that is what's your yeah. least favorite my least favorite is outside it's actually the where the water heater is right here behind the door. So you're actually laying your couch in your the back and chair. your lawn chair, you don't need the awning and all of a sudden the water heater will start on propane. Kaboom. So you have to go on the other side. Yeah, exactly. So that's my least favorite. Okay. So what's your my favorite? My favorite, we're leaning on it. Actually this little breakfast bar with the little pull up uh, bar stools. Yeah. I like that. I think it's cute, it's compact, it's simple, it's easy. That's my favorite feature. Cool. What's your favorite that, feature? That is nice. Well, actually, it's a it's a technical thing. Come up here. So it's actually this nice thing, this refrigerator. This right here? So it is 12 volt and 120. So that is independence right there on the road. And I like the way it latches too. It'd be nice to have one of those. See this? Yeah, Little that is nice, thingy. nice so, latch. No, that's my favorite. So in the comments below, let us know what's your favorite feature on this particular unit. And remember, and do never forget, it's not about the destination. It's all about the journey.